Hey guys, welcome to Rough Riders. Thanks for stopping by. About a year ago, I uh, posted a video on how I secure my teardrop trailer using the Proven Industries uh, hitch lock and then a Trimax uh, TCL wheel lock. And uh, you know, those work great for my, my teardrop, but I've also got this trailer here um, for hauling my side by side. And so um, I wanted to get a lock system for that. Um, and uh, when I was checking out the Proven Industries uh, page, uh, they've got a new wheel lock out. I don't know if it's new, I don't know how long they've had it out, but uh, they've got a wheel lock out um, that I wanted to uh, check out. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick walkthrough of this, this wheel lock by Proven Industries. Um, I really like their hitch lock design. Um, it's a phenomenal lock. I really do uh, think it's one of the better locks out there. Um, so I thought it'd be worthwhile checking out their wheel lock. Um, the TCL lock that I've got on the teardrop, it works great. Um, I don't have any major complaints around it, um, but uh, you know, given the uh, given the quality of the proven industries, I figured you know, let's uh, let's take a closer look at their wheel lock. Okay, so similar to the uh, hitch lock, um, they're using a puck design lock here, and uh, you can see it's got the the steel shank right there. That's uh, hardened on the inside. Aluminum, uh, uh, I think it's 6061 or something like that on the aluminum uh, for the uh, for the puck, and then they've got this uh, really heavy duty uh, stainless steel uh, locking bar, and so it goes on uh, like this. So you can see you got a groove right here. Um, show you it this way. So you got a groove right there for the uh, shank to fit through. So it goes on like this. Slides over and then up through the hole and then in like that and now you're locked. So that's the way it hooks up. You can see the uh, the welds. Um, not, you know, horrible, but uh, you know, I've seen the, the welds on their, on their hitch lock seem quite a bit better. Um, but, uh, you know, it's definitely kind of bulled up there on the start. But this thing is really, really beefy, really, really sturdy. Um, man, it's, it's like a weapon in itself. Um, and the way it basically works is this uh, part latches around the leaf spring on the trailer, then it pops out through the wheels uh, here, and then you secure the puck on there. So let me show you that, and then we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of this particular design. Okay, so to install this, you take your bar and you basically feed it through the wheel here and then latch it around the leaf spring like that. So you can see that it's poking through the holes on the rim and now I can install the puck. I've got my slot right here and my shank right there. So I just slide it over and like that. So now you can see that's on there pretty tight because you're going to slide that up as far as you can and you're not going to be able to just you know pull that off the, the leaf spring. So it's on there pretty good. Um, you know is it 100% perf perfect? You know probably not but um, it's certainly going to make it uh, much more difficult to haul this thing off. You're definitely not going to be able to pull the tra trailer off uh, this way. See, that thing is not going anywhere. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons of this uh, Proven Industries wheel lock. Uh, first thing is I think it's a great lock for securing the wheel. Um, you can see that the that it you know latching around that leaf spring and then popping through the wheel and putting the puck on there um, makes it uh, you know pretty secure. Um, actually, I think it's probably more secure than the TCL uh, wheel lock that I've got on my teardrop. The uh, you know, I don't see any easy way to defeat this thing. Um, you're certainly not going to uh, cut it off with a, a you know, hacksaw or a cutoff saw or anything like that um, because there's kind of no way to really get in there very easily. Um, and so, um, and you know, if you've ever tried to cut through stainless steel, uh, it's, it's hard. It's a pain in the ass. I've done it before. Um, and... Uh, um, and I was only going through some, some countertop stuff and it took me forever and a day uh, just to cut that stuff. So, um, 
you know, you know, I think uh, you know you might be able to get through the puck because it is aluminum. Aluminum is quite a bit softer, uh, but even so, I I think that would still be a, a pretty significant amount of work um, to do that, and it's certainly going to be really really loud um, to to try and do that. You're not going to bang it off for sure. Uh, I don't see a crowbar getting in there and prying it off. So, um, but. You know, so I think it does a, a, a fairly decent job of securing the wheel. Now, no lock, as I said before, is 100% effective, right? A determined thief will find a way to steal your stuff. That's what these, you know, jackasses do. But, um, you know, I think this is this is a this is a, this is a re really good attempt to secure the wheel. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with it from that perspective. Some of the cons, some of the challenges with this thing. Um, one is it only works with certain setups, so um, you got to have a leaf spring suspension, and you got to have the right wheel. Uh, I'm lucky on this one; I've, it is I, I got exactly what I need for this setup. But this lock, for example, wheel lock would not work on my teardrop trailer because I've got a torsion axle on that. Um, I don't have a leaf spring, therefore there's nothing for it to grab onto. I've also got trailer brakes on that, so you know even if I would have had a leaf spring suspension, I got brakes on my on my teardrop and therefore the brakes would interfere with it. So it's not gonna work with trailers with brakes, for example. Uh, the wheels, I got aftermarket wheels on there with uh, bigger openings on my, on my teardrop. So um, I don't know how well it would actually secure. This works out perfect because you got those small little holes that, for that rod to poke, poke through. Um, but you know, when you start dealing with aftermarket wheels, may or may not be the right, right setup. Therefore, you know, to me, the big challenge here is the limited application of only certain wheel setups. So uh, our, our, our suspension and wheel setups, right? So I think that's you know one of the one of the limiting factors here. But if you've got the right setup, I think this is a great lock for that. Um, I think it's actually better than than the than the Trimax, like, like I said on my uh, on my teardrop. So um, you know MSRP is 199 bucks, um, and uh, Proven is an absolutely phenomenal company to work with. I love these guys. Um, you know, they did a great job taking care of me when I got my hitch lock, um, and they were really, you know, great support and everything. And when I contacted them, telling them I was doing a video review on it, they gave me a discount code to give to you guys. You know, so spend 199 bucks or more and receive 20 bucks off. So uh, use the code J sent me, and uh, to to get that discount. Now, I don't get compensated by proven in, in any way, shape, or form by you guys buying these locks. So. Um, you know, I'm not out here pitching something, you know, and, you know, getting paid for it. Um, so these are just my opinions. These are just, uh, um, you know, what I'm doing. So, you know, take it for what it is. Um, and, you know, if you want one of these locks, contact them. Use that discount code. I was told uh, by a, a guy about a week ago that uh, was looking at my trailer lock video. He said the code was still working. So that was a year ago. So uh, they're still honoring that code. So, um, you know, save yourself twenty dollars and and use uh, use that discount code. There's my uh, review of this thing. Um, you know, thanks for watching. Again, if you got any questions, or comments, leave them below. I'll get to those just as quick as I can, and we'll uh, we'll see you out on the trail.